This is an overview of how to use Fulham's TPSB100 handheld controller to program a Fulham programmable driver. To connect the controller to a driver, insert one end of the programming wire into the controller and the programming pins on the other end into the R set ports on a Fulham programmable driver. The polarity markings on the programming wire must match the markings on the driver, positive to positive and negative to negative. To power up the controller, simply plug one end of the provided USB power cable into the controller and the other end into the wall adapter, then into power. The USB cable can also be plugged into a PC to provide power. When the controller first turns on, the display will read SIMP mode. This indicates simple programming mode, which we'll cover here. The controller can program output current or voltage depending on your driver. Press the M button to switch between current setting and voltage setting functions. When setting current, the display will flash I set. When setting voltage, the display will flash V set. An indicator light will also appear over MA or V to indicate which attribute you're currently setting. Press the read button to display the driver's currently set output current or voltage. To program a new value, press the plus minus button to change the desired current or voltage. Hold the button down to change the value faster. When you've reached the desired value, you must press the program button to lock the value in. You can press the read button again to confirm that the driver has been set to the new value. When an operation fails, the controller will beep three times and you'll see an error message. E01 indicates there is no connection to the driver. E02 indicates that the controller is unable to read data from the driver, most likely because the driver is not properly connected to the controller. E03 indicates the controller is unable to write data, most likely because the current you've attempted to program is outside the driver's output range. Most errors can be corrected by simply unplugging the controller from power, double checking all connections, and reapplying power. For information on advanced programming features, spec sheets, and more, please visit Fulham.com.